In this video we'll explain how you can use the new friendly date formatting to display dates, date values in a list control. So you can see here we have a very simple uh, list and uh, the dates are displayed in their raw form in uh, the first column in date 1 but in the second date column here we're displaying the friendly relative date so let's go ahead now and see how that was done so first of all let's take a look at the data in this list so you can see we just have some static data with date 1 and date 2 and both of them are just uh, strings uh, right here so the first thing that we're going to do is go to the date 2 field and convert it so that it is uh, an actual date value, a, a, re a real JavaScript date value. So we're going to choose the transform data type from a character value, which is how all of the data comes in to the list control um, when we populate it with some static data or when we use a SQL data source. And then we're going to format it, uh, transform it into a date value and we're going to specify that the format of the date values coming in is month, day, year. So you can specify uh, different formats uh, if you're using different formats. But this is going to pass the string date values and convert them into real JavaScript date objects. Then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to basically use the um, new uh, methods that have been added to the date prototype by alpha and you can read the documentation about these two new methods which are the two calendar method and the uh, two relative method so these are two new methods that have been added to the date object prototype uh, in the alpha JavaScript library and if you just go to the um, help uh, that, um, and search for either two calendar or two relative you'll be able to find out the help uh, for these two methods so then we're going to go over into the list control and we're going to turn on um, JavaScript over here to, which will open up this JavaScript tab here and this is going to allow us to create JavaScript functions that are in the same scope as the list control itself so these are not going to be global JavaScript functions are going to be JavaScript functions that belong to this list object so you can see here we're going to create a JavaScript function called to friendly date and we're going to pass in um, an argument called D you'll see where that comes from a little later on and then we're going to take D which is a date object and we're going to call the to calendar method on that to turn that into a um, friendly calendar date um, and we're going to use the standard option and then we're going to say never display the time part. So um, this syntax comes from the documentation and then we're just going to return the string. So this is a function here that's going to turn a date object into a friendly date uh, string and now let's go to our template, to our layout here. So you can see here's um, our list and you can see the template for date 1 is just simply uh, curly bracket date 1 but our template for date 2 is different instead of just displaying date 2 we're going to basically call our JavaScript function and since this JavaScript function was defined in the same scope as the list object itself the way that we reference that function is by using this um, square bracket scope uh, uh, prefix so the at sign here means uh, call a JavaScript function. The function that we're going to be calling is um, to friendly date uh, in the scope of the list object itself and then we're going to be passing in the value in date 2. So we're going to be calling the, um, d the function that formats the date and so now when we go ahead and we run this we can see that it displays today for the first date and then tomorrow for the next date but if we press this button to set different values you can see now we've changed this to 27 it now says Tuesday so basically using the JavaScript um, uh, functions that have been add, uh, that have been added to the uh, date object and using those functions in the uh, list control template were able to display friendly dates in the list control. Thanks very much for watching.